This is your boy Big Country coming to you live. We got the crock pot recipe for the lasagna. I got my Walmart brand. Four cups of mozzarella cheese, my regatta cheese, the onions, the ground beef, my seasons, and the sauce. Myself, I'm in love with that chick. Uh, what's her name? Oh, yeah. The Pioneer Woman Garden Vegetable Pasta Sauce. Because I'm trying to eat healthy. Um, so it's going to be like a nice one. We got a little bit of garlic salt. Then we got a little bit of parsley flakes. Also oregano. And the diced onions. Okay. Now you're going to brown the hamburger meat. Oh, yeah. And my stuff to use in the frying pan to cook the meat, garlic, and herb, land, o lakes. So you're going to brown the hamburger meat to start with. It's going to be all gravy, baby. It's going to be so good, make you want to slap your mama. Check me out. Woo. Yeah. So uh, the sauce is a little marinating there. Nice and warm on the skillet. So we're just going to go ahead and see how we get the rest of this going. We already washed our hands. Open the, oh, before we open that, grab, who's that? This guy that's like, oh, I'm tired of hearing about guys. I told you, off the phone while I'm cooking. All right, so I got that going down. Gonna saute some of these onions up, good. You don't want too many onions, because then your lasagna won't taste good. I'll just put a little bit, then I throw my ground beef in there. Aha! Wee doggy! I don't know, but a lot of people don't know this. They just think they can go to the supermarket and find anything they want. I like at this time why my hamburger means brownie to say thank you to the ranchers and the farmers out there that makes everything possible, especially our meats and our vegetables that people don't realize come for those farmers and those cattlemen that's out there working hard every day to put food on your table. Because they don't just walk up and go to the grocery store. They're the ones that make it. All right. So we got our ground beef in there. I'd say you can't get off that phone, I'm gonna take it. I'm tired of hearing it go off while I'm on the phone. That was really, 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 really good. All right, so we got our spatula. This guy right here, his name is Jose. And me and him been cooking together for a long time, no? How would you like French? Bonjour, pas de coup français, oui, oui, bonjour. All right, that's just a little French I know. Cause I don't know much. So at this time with this ground beef I got here, I'll put just a little couple of flicks of the wrist, about four flicks of the wrist, maybe five. I love garlic. I'm a garlic fiend. You know what I mean? Around here, around 28th and 5th, we call this right here little garlic garlic, my dogs. <laughs> All right, now we got our little bit of parsley flakes. That's not too much, just a little bit in ground beef. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the oregano, what do you know? Yo, bro, what's up, oregano? We're from New Brooklyn, you know what I mean? <laughs> The regular don't want to come out sometimes, so I like to go like this and just uh, a little dash, 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 dash. All right. Smelling so good already. All right, so far we're going to flavor this meat up and we'll be right back with part two video. Part two video.